Hi, in this video I will show you how to get mp3 files into the audiobook format, the audiobook format used in iTunes and in iPod. More often than not you'll be able to play this files in, in, your, uh, in the mp3 format, but if you want to put them in here in the audiobook place there is a way to do it like this you can see all my audiobooks they're nice and condensed into one audiobook instead of different parts so I'll show you how to do that in just a second so let's start by assuming that you got the audiobook in different parts or that you ripped it off a CD and they're in different parts I will assume they're in MP3 format and if they're not convert them to MP3 using um, an audio program, an audio editing program. The first thing you have to do is merge together the MP3 files. There are several ways to do that. The hard way is to do it manually by going into the audio edition programs but you can also download an MP3 merger program. There's plenty out there you can download a one that's standalone and you don't have to pay for them and if they're trying to sell you an mp3 merger don't pay for it there's many mp3 mergers that are absolutely free that do the job just fine like this one mp3 merger so what you're gonna do is make sure that all your mp3 files have the same byte rate if they don't you're gonna have a problem so go to property summary advanced and you will see the byte rate or bit rate and you will see the duration so this is part one it's only 10 seconds because we're only going to do this for test purposes and part number two is exactly the same file I just copied and pasted it so it should be also 128 and 10 seconds so First we select them, we place them here, and we're going to merge them. So notice how it asks what name to give it. We're going to name it Audiobook Merged MP3 and save it on the desktop. So now we have our file. audiobook merged mp3. Once we have it merged we'll see the properties and it's basically the same. Now it's a little bigger because I merged two files and now the duration is 20 seconds the the bitrate is exactly the same. Let's close this. We don't need the mp3 merger anymore. If you have more than two files just merge them all together. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard to handle. So now what we have to do is convert to a format used by iTunes. So go to iTunes. If you don't have it, you can download it. It's absolutely free. First we have to make sure that the properties are set. It is different on, I think this is iTunes 8.0 check yes this is iTunes 8 and I think it's different in previous versions but you'll be able to find it in the preferences here is in general go to this part where it asks you what to do with a CD I know it's kinda weird uh, to change this when <laughs> a CD just make sure that import settings is set to the AAC encoder and not to MP3 or any of these. You want it in AAC. Now usually for audiobooks you can click on spoken podcast as the uh, lowest quality. You can also choose what kind of bit rate you want. So you can choose a very low one. You can even choose 48 for spoken word but I like to go high. I have enough space on my disk so I leave it at 128 but if you don't care too much about the quality you can 
go for even lower than that. So make sure it's on AAC and whatever quality you want to give it. You can play with this numbers until you get what you like. But remember, there's a trade-off between quality and size. So once you have that, just click OK. And now what we're going to do is go to music and I'll try to keep this on the screen. What you're going to do is drag the audiobook into your library. If you find it hard to uh, to find, just click on date added and it will sort it by date added. And the first one will be the audiobook you just merged. You can change the uh, information here. Go to the info and just change the name, the artist, or whatever you want to do with it. Choose the genre if you want it. Let's say this is a novel. Click OK. The problem is that the audiobook is still on the music section. And there is no way changing the info to tell it that it's an audiobook. So what you do is convert it to AAC. The way you do that is by right clicking on it and then create AAC version. Now it's converting it. It usually takes quite a while if it's a big audiobook, but since this is only 20 seconds, it did it really, really fast. So now what we have is two versions of my audiobook. I'll make this a little slower so you can see a little better. This first version is the MP3 version and this one is the AAC version. So right click on it and tell the program to show it in Windows Explorer. It'll localize the file and you can tell that it's in M4A, that's AAC for audio. Now the only thing that you have to do is change the extension. So click F2 or it did. Um, no, file, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just change the name. What we're going to do is change the extension here because the name is fine from M4A to M4B. This might pop up. Change the file extension. Do you want to change the file extension? Click yes. And you can see now that the icon has a lock there. So what you do is that once you have that, you bring it again into iTunes. We don't need this window anymore. And now iTunes automatically knows that it's an audiobook. So we can go to audiobook and it should be here. It's right here. 20 seconds audiobook. And this is the file that we just changed, the M4B file. And then you can go to music and see since we changed the extension it can no longer find it. So we can just delete this one. And since this is the MP3 version we can delete this. Close iTunes. And we can also delete this three. And you're all set. If you have any questions, let me know.